Blessed Tuesday everyone. Welcome po sa bagong linggo, sa ating linggo na ito na ating pong um, pagbabalik sa ating devotional material, Mornings with Tozer. And today being April 6, we will be looking at the devotion for today. Matthew 28 verse 18 reads, Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. And the title for today's devotion is Resurrection Power. And A.W. Tozer writes, Let us be confident, Christian brethren, that our power does not lie in the manger at Bethlehem, nor in the relics of the cross. True spiritual power resides in the victory of the mighty, resurrected Lord of glory, who could pronounce after spoiling death, All power is given me in heaven and in earth. And I say, Amen to that. Right? Uh, um, uh, our Lord did not... Uh, remained a child. He grew up, lived a perfect life. Our Lord, as He suffered on the cross and as He died a gruesome death, did not remain dead. After three days, He rose again from the dead. He is risen. And therefore, uh, ang ating uh, hope, the blessed hope that we have, is in that mighty uh, power found in the resurrection. Saipani A.W. Tozer, the power of the Christian believer lies in the Savior's triumph, triumph of eternal glory. Christ's resurrection brought about a startling change of direction for the believers. Ano ulit yung kanta? Because He lives, we can now cha- uh, face tomorrow. Because we live, uh, because He lives, all fear is gone. Because I know He holds the future and life is worth living because He lives. And it really has changed our lives so beautifully. It changed our disposition. It changed our direction sa buhay na ito because He lives. Imagine if He remained dead, He would just be a martyr. But Jesus is far from being just a martyr. He is the sovereign Lord, the Savior, the one who died the death that we cannot uh, um, die and live the life that we cannot live. Praise the Lord indeed. Sabi niya, sadness and fear and mourning marked the direction of their religion before they knew that Jesus was raised from the dead. Their, their direction was towards the grave. When they heard the angelic witness, He is risen. And He said, the direction, as He said, the direction immediately shifted away from the tomb. He is risen indeed. If this is not the meaning of Easter, the Christian church is involved only in a shallow one-day festival each year. Tama po yun. Right? Thankfully, and I say volumes more, thankfully, the resurrection morning was only the beginning of a great, vast outreach that has never ended and will not end until our Lord Jesus Christ comes back again. I say amen and amen to that. In the world that we live in right now with the pandemic and the confusion and anxiety, well, we can do our part. We can um, wash our hands, uh, distancing, face mask, face shields. But in the greater scheme of things, the biggest problem that man has, sin, has been addressed and has been solved already by the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, right? Salamat sa Panginoon. Talaga sa kanyang ginawa. And the prayer for today reads, Dear Heavenly Father, speed the triumphant resurrection message into areas not yet reached by the gospel. Strengthen, encourage, and equip your servants for this awesome task. Yeah. Marami po pong dinakakilala, hindi pa nakakarinig sa Ebanghelyo ni Cristo Jesus. And let's be praying for that. Let's commit our day today sa Panginoon as we pray. <clears throat> Lord, we thank you for the power in your resurrection. Because you live, Lord, we can now anticipate and look forward to that day when you would give us 
glorified bodies to be with you and enjoy you, enjoy your fellowship, your love, and amaze, and be amazed, Lord, at your glory. Gawin niyo po, Panginoon Diyos, ang araw na ito, ay araw nga po na makita ng mga tao sa paligid namin ang Ibanghelyo ni Kristo. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for how we know that we can depend on you and your resurrection power, that omnipotent power, especially amidst this pandemic. Kayo po naman ang mapapurihan sa araw na ito. We love you. We praise you. In Christ name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining me. See you all tomorrow. God bless you. Have a great day.